In this video, I'm going to talk to you about lichens. They're part of an exhibit at the museum, and we have some researchers in our own lab who are working on them. Hello, I'm Francesca. I work on lichens um, under Torsten Lumsch and Todd Wilhelm. Um, and this summer, I'm mainly working on the Sticta project. Sticta is a genus of lichens, um, which are primarily lichens that are, have a symbiotic relationship with um, a fungus and a cyanobacteria rather than an algae. Um, so this summer, Matt, um, who's the other intern from DePaul working on lichens, and I are just sequencing, are amplifying different genes um, within the fungus and within the cyanobacteria and amplifying them, amplifying and sequencing them. And um, we're also working on a couple of other random genuses um, for different people. So Steve Levitt has some Everniastrums that we're working on. And we're also doing, um, for a few odd stictas that have algae, we're also working on some green algae genes. Um, and there has not been a lot of um, like molecular data collected about stictas in general. Um, everything that we previously know about them is based on morphological characteristics. So this project is aimed at giving a greater understanding of stigma. Hi, I'm Matt. I'm one of the uh, student interns here from DePaul University. I'm working with uh, Todd Whithelm in uh, the light with uh, lichens. And, um, yeah, we a lot of super fun sequencing when we're trying to get the stick to genus all mapped out. Hi guys, welcome to the lichens exhibit. This is my favorite part of the Field Museum because it talks about an organism that most people have never heard of but that's really important to our ecology. Let's take a look inside. Lichens are organisms that have the structures of plants and fungi, and they're really important to preserving the natural balance of many different habitats and environments. Lichens come in different colors, different shapes, and different types, and one of the coolest things about them is that their very presence indicates the quality of an environment. For example, an abundance of a certain type of lichen can prove that one area is experiencing a lot of global warming. And this is a specimen that we found which has over 54 species of lichens on its surface. Thanks for visiting, and when you have a chance, stop by the lichens exhibit at the Field Museum.